My father, whom I loved dearly, used to make a note of my mother's hair appointments. This wasn't so she could be collected from the hairdresser and avoid spoiling that shampoo and set in damp weather. It was to remind him to say how lovely it looked when she came back home. There were occasions, like now, when a trip to the hairdresser resulted in a radical change in my or my mother's appearance. Then he had no need to look in his diary. He would say, What have you done to your hair? When I get back from a haircut later today, that's what he would have said. It will be pretty radical. We did charge up the hair clippers a few weeks ago, but didn't have the courage to use them. Now I can get an expert to do it. The Book of Judges tells the story of Samson. It's mostly an unedifying tale of violence and revenge. It's also about strength and weakness. Samson's weakness is that he can't resist the persuasive wheedling of Delilah, who betrays him to the enemy. She gets him to confess that his strength lies in his uncut hair. It's a sign that he was dedicated to God from childhood. He says, a razor has never come upon my head. Cut it and his strength is lost. He sleeps and Delilah gets handy with the clippers. The Philistines take him prisoner. His hair does grow again. His power returns and he defeats the enemy in a sacrificial act of strength. Lord, give us strength to stand up and be counted for what is right and to know that it is your perfect love that casts out fear. Amen.